So it's the school holidays and we're still at the, at the school farm. So I just thought we would go into the polytunnel and let you see what's uh, been happening um, when you're been at home and what we're going to be needing to do uh, when you're on this, your school holidays. So come on into the polytunnel and I'll let you see the tomatoes, cucumbers and everything else that we've got growing. So in this bed we've got tomatoes and peppers. The tomatoes actually are, are climbing plants and they'll want to climb up the, the string. So we have to hold them up so they don't collapse. And remember, tomatoes are the fruit. So when we're trying to look after this plant, we're actually looking for the flowers. And these flowers will turn into the tomato fruits. Because of that, we need to keep the, the plant tidy. What, we, what we've been doing is clipping away the, the bottom leaves so that all the food for the plant goes into growing the flowers and the fruits. So we've kept this bed tidy of weeds and we've kept the tomato plants pruned. So as well as the tomatoes that we saw earlier, we've got some cucumbers growing. They also like to climb up the string. And they've got nice, really nice yellow flowers. And, and this is when the, the bees would come into the polytunnel and start to pollinate the flowers. And you would start to get many cucumbers coming off of the back of the flowers. In fact, you can start to see many cucumbers just now. have a progress uh, report about what's going on in the, in the school farm outside of the polytunnel. If you remember we were going to be planting a, a meadow on the old bed and this is in July we're seeing some of the, the, the corn chamomile, the poppies, the yellow press all, all coming up uh, in the meadow looking out for oxide daisy later on in the year. So if you remember in April, we brought out the toilet roll holders with all the sweet peas beginning to start and we had planted them, planted them down here and said that they'd start to climb up the trellis. So here's the sweet peas, you can see them starting to be in flower now, and they'll give off a nice sweet, um, sweet scent, and they'll, keep, and they'll keep on climbing. So they're doing not too bad after two months. Have a look at our sunflowers for this year. It's a particular variety that we have, and you can see the flower heads starting to come out. number of flowers coming out of them. See it beginning to petals beginning to poke out of this sunflower head. And then here's one that's been out for a few weeks already. Petals beginning to turn slightly. So look how well the strawberries are doing. If you remember in early spring we had started to plant the new plants that you had uh, taken from the runners. Some of the strawberries are coming up now. Bet you wish you were here. <clears throat> and you can see that there's plenty of strawberries and we'll maybe be, be picking them uh, watching the tennis later on. So by the time you come back to school in, in August, Hopefully we'll have this new shelter built for you. The team are, are um, digging the holes, putting the posts in, 
and we'll have a roof on it so that you've got somewhere to work even in the heavy rain so you've got no excuse for not coming out to the garden when it when it's raining we can do some work in the, underneath the shelter and in the polytunnel uh, and it won't be too long before it's ready.